Hello, in this video I'll be talking about what cell senescence is, its purpose and part in aging, and its relationship to telomeres. In fact, this is my part 2 video of my telomere series. So, what is cell senescence? Cell senescence is a phenomenon where the cell stops uh, dividing entirely, reaching what is known as replicative senescence, or the Hayflick limit. Leonard Hayflick found that cells stop dividing after a certain number of cell divisions, and that only cell only cancer cells keep dividing without an observable limit. Hayflick believes that his Hayflick limit concept explains why human beings age and explains aging at the cellular level. Replicative senescence may be triggered when a cell's telomeres have become too short. Another way that replicative senescence is triggered is through DNA damage. DNA can be damaged from the increased gene vulnerability from shortened telomeres, exposure to elevated levels of reactive oxygen species, the activation of oncogenes, aka cancer genes, and or cell-to-cell -cell fusion. So what is the purpose of cell senescence? One may interpret the purpose of halting cell division as a safety measure that senescent cells take to prevent themselves from accumulating more mutational genetic defects and thereby becoming cancerous. Specifically, senescent cells produce cytokines and other signaling chemicals that stop its growth. One study found that, although a universal marker that is solely expressed in senescent cells has not yet been identified, most senescent cells seem to express the P16 LNK4A, a cyclin, a cyclin dependent kinase inhibitor and tumor suppressor that enforces growth arrest by activating retinoblastoma proteins. Additionally, the expression of P16 LNK4A is known to increase with aging in several rodents and human tissues. And although senescent cells do not replicate, they remain metabolically active. They do not die right away. So what normally happens is that the number of senescent cells in our bodies rise with aging. Especially so given that our cells have experienced more numbers of cell divisions uh, the older we get, meaning that there are a higher number of cells with shortened telomeres as we age. Cell senescence plays a part in aging. The accumulation of senescent cells eventually starts to become a problem. The non-replicative cells no longer function normally and cannot efficiently play their role in the body. They act a bit like the rust that starts to appear on a steel structure. Although the rust is still a part of the steel, they lose their functional strength and make the steel structure weaker than before. Likewise, senescent cells are the weak link in our body that puts in danger the integrity of el the elderly people's health. Specifically, the accumulation of senescent cells in our body leads to many age-related diseases such as type 2 diabetes and atherosclerosis. That's because senescent beta cells in the pancreas do not produce insulin and senescent blood vessel cells are no longer as elastic as they used to be, deteriorating, growing bigger, and thickening to cause atherosclerosis and atherosclerotic plaques. Another consequence for the existence of senescent cells is that they secrete a pro-inflammatory chemical which adds up the level of chronic and systemic inflammation present in the body. Chronic systemic inflammation is associated with further telomere deterioration. The interesting thing is that the elimination of senescent cells leads to a delay in some reversal of age-related um, physiological disorders. For example, the scientists have observed that killing off senescent cells in a mouse progeroid model, where progeroid refers to the genetic disorder that mimics aging. 
in vivo can delay uh, age-related tissue dysfunction, including cataract uh, formation, lipodystrophy, and lordokyphosis. Other tissues, such as adipose tissues, skeletal muscle, and eye uh, tissues, also show delays in age-related uh, pathologies. By, delay, by delaying age-related pathologies through the clearance of senescent cells, you can conclude that cell senescence has a significant role in aging, so by reducing the senescent cell presence, you may be able to achieve some level of life extension and reduce symptoms of aging. One method is to induce apoptosis um, to those senescent cells. Another method would have to be figuring out ways to lengthen a chromosome's telomeres, or at least slow down the rate at which telomeres shorten. I'll, take, I'll talk about these methods in my next upcoming uh, video about telomeres, my part 3 video. I'll place a link in the description below if you are curious. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate if you like and share this video, and subscribe to my channel. Bye!